fill me a glass to ease the pain. I want the finest wines known to humanity. I want them here and I want them now. And by lucky hat, it's just a couple of steps to Berry Brothers and Rudd, one of the oldest wine shops in the world, apparently. We are the oldest wine merchant in the UK, still a family-owned and family-run business. Oh, gosh. In 1698, Berry Brothers was known as the coffee mill. To know your weight was a sign of well-being and something very fashionable. So at Berry Brothers, instead of getting rid of the scale, we did insert a seat and offer the service to weight our customers. From 1765, this is what we are doing. For example, George, from 1826, he was weighed with boots, a coat, a hat. Uh, we had the Agakan, Lord Byron, a French king on exile from France. So this telegram was sent on the 16th of <coughs> April of 1912 to let us know that uh, the Titanic had collided with an iceberg and sank. There are no mentions of the thousands of passengers who lost their lives. The only thing, we had 69 cases on board. <laughs> More worried about the wine. Yeah, now we go into the depths. Morning, Lance. When we have an important customer or a charity dinner, we have permission to use house reserve stock. We have some 1870 Pontecanet, 1919 Clos Blanc de Vougeot, 1899 Chateau Iquem. It's very kind of you, but I wouldn't drink before 12 o'clock. I'm assuming that the Queen probably gets a wine here. Absolutely, yeah. The Prince of Wales as well. Napoleon III in 1852 was on exile from France, was a very close friend of the Berries, who gave permission mission to host his private meetings. Burgundy, Bordeaux, Rhone, Japanese Sarkis. I quite fancy a drink after all that drink. Okay.